Hey everybody, welcome to a title screen. Uh, this is the Die More edition of Teleglitch. Oh shit. I'm gonna start playing the game on level one. We are working on a massive teleport that could transport you anywhere. To unlimited distances. But something went wrong. Something came through the other side. Wait, this is the plot to Doom? First we thought it was a minor glitch but it quickly turned into a nightmare. The facility AI became aggressive and the military's robots turned on us. The space of the complex started warping. Rooms and hallways would randomly very organize themselves as if following some twisted pattern. I decided to seal myself in here and wait for help. I've been hiding out here for weeks, but nobody came and I'm running out of food. My only chance is to use the regular teleporters off the facilities to get, back, to, get to the mass teleporter and then teleport myself back to Earth. Uh, oh, there we go. Who am I? Oh, I'm this guy. So this is Teleglitch. Uh, a roguelike. I can punch. I can hold my hand out. Oh. Explosive material. And a pistol. How do I use it? Oh, I picked up an empty can by pressing space. Awesome. Better take them all. As you can see, we can't really see much. I guess this is where the guy secured himself in. I'm not sure what any of that is. Can we push? There's some brackets around it. It doesn't say what they are, though. Take. Sure. The trans... The trans... The teleportation technology is number one. The teleportation range has been... Oh, has been always limited by the hyper-difficult mathematical calculations required for performing each jump. Each unit of extra distance makes it required calculation exponentially harder, making teleportation impractical if not impossible for distances of over one kilometer. So wait, did I not pick this up? Take it. Weird. I've got to use space to use that, but I've got to use space and then left click to pick that up. What is that? Hey! How much damage did I take? Males. Nodes Chief Supply Officer. Have the supply ship bring in double load of internal or construction supplies including 400 boxes of standard nails. Apparently the demand for nails have gone up drastically during the past few weeks. Because everyone's been playing Dead Rising 2. Oh shit! I don't get it. If I left click to use that when I'm on it, why... Why is left click not doing anything... Shit! Can't work out how to use the gun. It's not space. Maybe I should have done done the tutorial. Oh well. Planet Medusa 1C. Natural conditions. The planet face surface features extremely high temperatures, deadly radiation, and poisonous atmosphere. This means all personnel should stay inside the research facility. Exiting the f facility without adequate protective equipment is instantly fatal. Say, I saw that. Okay, so where's our monster database? Press escape. We get this. What's the control? Ah! What the hell? Okay, this gibberish. We fought a mutant and a reactivated organics user unit type 1. Zombie. Oh, son of a bitch! You can use the gamepad! I didn't see this one. 
Ah, that's to make things a bit easier, I think. Oh yeah, I need to look. So that's what I saw before was the game, the controls there. I didn't see this. Previous item, we can shoot, we can aim, reload, drop, use, move cursor, move items. What the fuck? Okay, so that's just the same. Oh, okay, I can move them using D-pad. That just scrolls up and down through them. Okay, that's not ideal. I'm going to use the right analog stick to actually aim him in the direction I want him to punch. Ah, fuck! I keep thinking that's a gun for some reason. Fuck you. Okay, I fucked up. Shut up, I ain't reading this. All I need you to tell me is how to use the gun. Take it all. Why isn't he taking it? Yeah, okay, this is what I need. Tell me how to use this. Oh! Ah, that's kind of useful, okay. It'll always come back to you if you let it go back to you. But yeah, I've got to hold down L2 to be able to shoot. Okay, we can get out of this. Okay, yeah, that's the same. So yeah, as before the other roguelikes I've been playing. I guess other than the starting room. It's all randomly... Okay, I read that before. Randomly generated. A tube. More explosive. Okay, so that's how to shoot. So you can only stack them into groups of five. Got 15 bullets. Whoa! Okay, that was a weird camera switch. Wasn't. Emergency evacuation request pending. Request denied. Standard resupply drops to the facility are performed every five months via automatic transport ships. Current status: all operations abandoned due to negative profit outlook. Planet producer one C quarantined indefinitely. So kind of fucked. No one's coming. Ah! Fuck, this is a pain in the ass to control. Okay, I lost two health fighting that guy. Okay, I'm going to have to use some hybrid controls of gamepad and mouse for combat. Ooh. How do I select? What? I want to use it. Okay, I'm using it. Ah, son of a bitch! Biodiversity on Medusa 1C is literally minimal, but well accustomed to the deadly atmospheric conditions. So far, only two life forms have been discovered, and both are lethal to humans. These species are cat sized amoeba that. Cor that use corrosive chemicals to consume anything organic. This sounds great. It's 
Depending on the oh shit, I'm out of ammo with that. Okay, I pushed a box into the wall. Okay, I've read all that. Wait, didn't I just pick up ammo for this? Oh my god. Tell a glitch space time anomaly. Anomaly. Initial analysis summary. These blobs are black and colourful. These blobs of black and colourful anomaly seems to be the only result of today's experiment with unlimited range teleportation. We've been investigating this phenomenon for the past two hours and think it might have profound implications for the theoretical physics. The blackness seems to be literally an inside out space time curvature. It opens a range of possibilities for research. My colleague has already suggested we could weaponize it by capturing the field into super intense wave be wave beta pressure containers to be used for planetary bombardments. Oh, and if you touch it, you, your brain explodes. Considering what's happening with the wall there. Fuck! Dance with me. I thought I just picked up shells. I didn't get any of them. Fuck! How many are there? Just the two. Okay, come back this way, you assholes. I don't get it, I swear I picked up ammo. Nine millimeter clip. Zero of seventy five! Oh! That's not a maximum, that's how many you've got. Son of a bitch. I thought I could carry 75. Like, my. The, when I was getting a clip, the amount. The maximum I could carry was going up, not how many I had. Ah. Uh. Yeah, I figured that was a bad idea. <laughs> Learning something new every day. Okay. So none of that. Okay, let me out. So don't touch... Shit. Okay, so it's not exactly that the rooms are randomly generated. Fuck!
The rooms are static, like, pre-generated. Looks like they're just placed together at random. So the procedural aspect is that stitching. Didn't mean to do that. I just wanted to punch him, but I forgot. When you have that highlighted, it puts it down. That's one of the issues I'm having already, is the c controls feel a little inconsistent. Okay, let's just leave them. Fuck! Shit! Oh fuck, I backed off into... Okay, I fucked up on my own record there. I was pain looking, paying too much attention to the enemies and not the fucking darkness that was at the end of the corridor. Well, now that I kind of understand the game's controls, I'll be back in the next part and actually we'll probably try and take a good stab at this now.